and listeners at home. My name is Phoebe Sukayayi, the Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Education, Kaduna State. Welcome to Kaduna State Ministry of Education e-learning platform, a program designed to reach our students, especially the SS3 students, during this period of lockdown as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. This is a crisis period in our time, and we therefore want to engage our students wherever they are, bearing in mind that they will be writing their exams as soon as schools reopen. We encourage our students, especially parents, guidance, to support the Kaduna State Minister of Education under the able leadership of our governor, His Excellency Malam Nasser Ahmed El Rufai, to achieve this laudable objective by paying attention to all the lessons that will be coming your way through this platform. We call on our students to communicate all questions and other concerns that they want addressed to their teachers through telephone numbers that will be provided at the end of each lesson. Other concerns and observations that need attention can also be addressed to the Commissioner, Minister of Education, Kaduna State, and these shall be addressed subsequently. Other questions and other concerns from parents, from listeners and viewers, can also be addressed to the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Education, Kaduna State, or call 0803-700-5267. Again, 0803-700-5267. While we look forward to providing quality lessons on air during this uh, lockdown, we request that you pay attention for maximum benefit. Thank you. Happy viewing. Happy listening. Hello, students. Welcome to biology class. I am Mrs. Ahmed L. Our topic today is animal nutrition. On the animal nutrition, we are going to see food substances, classes of food, functions of food, and of course, sources of food. Now, animal nutrition. Animal nutrition is a branch of nutrition that builds with feeding requirements in animal. Now, food substances. Food is any nutritious substance that we eat or drink in order to maintain life and growth. In other words, food is something that provides nutrients to the body. Whatever you eat from the diet, every day, morning, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, Whatever you eat that provides nutrients to your body is what we generally refer to as food. Do we understand that class? Good. Now classes of food. All food eaten or drunk by an animal can be classified into six. These include carbohydrates, proteins, fats and oils, minerals, vitamins, and water. Now we are going to see this Six classes of food, one after the other. Carbohydrates are sugars or starches that are made up of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. They can be divided into three, monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides. Monosaccharides are carbohydrates consisting of one unit of simple sugars, e.g. glucose, fructose, and galactose. Disaccharides, otherwise called simple reducing sugars, consist of two units of simple sugars, e.g. sucrose, maltose, and lactose. Polysaccharides, consisting of complex sugars, more than two units of sugars, e.g. starch, cellulose, and glycogen. Functions of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates gives energy to perform body tasks. Carbohydrates provide heat during its oxidation. This helps in insulating the body. Carbohydrates aid digestive function. Carbohydrates improve brain function. Sources of carbohydrates, meaning food substances that provide carbohydrates to the body. They include rice, yam, cassava, millet, maize, bread, and many others from our local dishes. 
The next one is protons. Protons are made up of carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and sometimes phosphorus and sulfur. They are broken down into simpler forms called amino acids, a form that the body absorbs after digestion. Functions of proteins. Proteins repair worn-out tissues and cells in the body. Proteins aid reproduction. Proteins form antibodies, hormones, and enzymes. Proteins ensure growth and development of muscle, hair, bones, and skin. Sources of proteins, that is food that are rich in proteins. We have fish, meat, cheese, milk, beans, and other legumes. Fats and oils. Fats and oils are otherwise known as lipids. Fats are solid lipids, while oils are liquid lipids. Fats are made up of carbon, hydrogen, and a little oxygen. They are broken down into smaller forms that the body can absorb. Those smaller forms are called fatty acids and glycerol. Functions of fats and oils. Fats and oils provide more energy to the body than carbohydrates. Fats and oils maintain body temperature, thereby giving insulation to the body. Fats and oil aids muscle movement. Fats and oils improves cell growth. Sources of fats and oils. Foods that are rich in fats and oils. We have vegetable oil, we have butter or margarine, we have soy oil, we have coconut oil. They give fats and oils to the body. The next class of food is mineral. Minerals are inorganic salts that are required by the body for healthy growth and maintenance. Function of minerals. Minerals strengthen the bones. They prevent tooth decay and balance water level in the body. Sources of minerals, that is, foods that are rich in minerals. We have seafoods like crabs and snails, iodized table salt, those table salt we take at home. We have nuts and seeds, e.g. the barbara nuts and sesame seeds. They are very rich in minerals. Vitamins. Vitamins are organic food substances that are required by man and other animals in small amount for normal growth and healthy development. Functions of vitamins. Vitamins boost in the immune system, they support healthy blood, and they maintain healthy skin. Sources of vitamins. Food that are rich in vitamins include fresh green vegetables like cabbage and spinach. We have fresh foods like orange. We have soya beans, very rich in vitamins. Water, the most important and essential nutrient a person or animal requires, is water. The body Usually, the human body is made up of mostly water. About 75% of the human body is made up of water. Others fall within 25%. Where every cell in the body requires water to function well. Remember, life begins from the cell.
Water flushes out toxins. Water serves as a shock absorber. Water prevents dehydration, that is, it hydrates the body. Water excretes waste material from the body. Water helps digestive process of the body. Sources of water. Natural unsweetened water from rains, wells, taps, springs, bottles, and sachet water. Fruits that contain large amounts of water, e.g. watermelon, gives more water to the body. Now, having seen all those classes of food, I believe each and every one of you have eaten. Any meal that contains all those classes of food in its right proportion is what we refer to as a balanced diet. In other words, a balanced diet is any meal or diet that consists of all the six classes of food in its right proportion. For example, carbohydrates is needed by the body about 65%, 15% of proteins, 10% of minerals and salts, and then 10% of water. So make sure each time you eat, from morning to night, make sure your food is balanced. You don't have to eat expensive or rich meals. When we say expensive meals, we understand what I mean. Spending more money on food. The most important thing is your meal should be rich in these classes of food. Each time you prepare your meal at home, make sure they are balanced. Now let's take some assignments to see how far we have gone. Now, this is a little assignment for you to keep yourself busy before the next period. What do you understand by food? Tell me what you understand by food in your own perspective. List the classes of food we have. State two sources of any three food substances you know from your various locality. Tell me the kind of carbohydrate food you have. Like in my own locality, I have two. The Yoruba man has Amala and the Igbo man has Eba or Fufu. All these are carbohydrate food. So let me have your own type of carbohydrate or any other three types of food substances from your own locality. Enumerate two functions of any of these three food substances. If you tell me carbohydrate, please let me know the function of carbohydrates in your body. If you have any more, if you need any more explanation, or if you have any question, you can contact me on my GSM number or through WhatsApp on 0703-886-1535. Thank you and remain blessed. My name is Christine Osoha. I've come to review what my colleague, Mrs. Ladidi, has said concerning animal nutrition. Animal nutrition, she mentioned uh, food substances, classes of food, functions of food, and sources of food. Then animal nutrition, she said, which she told you that is the branches of uh, nutrition that deals with feeding and requirements in animals. Then she talked about food. She has told you that food is a nutritious substance that when we eat, maintains the body and help us to grow. Then she mentioned classes of food, which are six in number. They are the carbohydrates, proteins, fats and oils, mineral salts, vitamins, and water. Then these carbohydrates are divided into three types, which she has told you, the monosaccharides, disaccharides, and what have you. Then she mentioned the carbohydrates, that carbohydrates gives us energy. It provides heat to the body and also aids digestion and improves brain function. And the sources of carbohydrates, which she told you, are rice, yam, cassava, millet, maize, bread. 
then she mentioned proteins. The proteins are made up of three compounds, which are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and sometimes phosphorus and sulfur, that they are broken down into amino acids. And the amino acids is the smallest particles of the proteins. And the functions of the protein is for repairs one has tissues, for its aids reproduction, which she has said, and also forms hormones. Then it also ensures growth and development of muscles of bones, hairs, and skin. Then the sources of protein, which she has said earlier, is fish, meat, cheese, milk, beans, and other legumes. She went further to tell you about fats, that fats are otherwise known as lipids. And then fats, we have solid fats in form of oils and liquid fats, liquid fats in form of lipids. The fats are made up of carbon, hydrogen, and a little oxygen. And they are broken down into smaller form to form the uh, fatty acids and the glycerol. Functions of fats, which she has already told you, is it provides more energy than the carbohydrates. And also it maintains body temperature. Then it aids muscle movement, improves cell growth. Then the sources of fats, which I has told you earlier, are made up of vegetable oils, anything oil, granite oil, uh, soya bean oil, and what have you. Then butter, margarine, and cheese. Then mineral salt. The mineral salts are inorganic salts that are required by the body for healthy growth and maintenance, which she has already told you. And these mineral salts can be the sources of mineral salts can be what? Can be table, iodized table salt, seafoods, and nuts and seeds. And also the functions of mineral salt, it strengthens the bones and the teeth. It also prevents tooth decay and then balances the water level in the body. Then the main mention of, she told you about the vitamins, that the vitamins are organic substances required by man and other animals in small quantity for normal growth and healthy development. And healthy development. And the functions of vitamins, it boosts immunity and it supports healthy blood and maintains healthy skins. The sources of vitamin, which she told you earlier, is fresh green leaves like cabbage and spinach, fresh fruits like oranges and then soya beans. And she mentioned water. Water is very important and is essential for a person or animals. And the human body is made up of 75% of water, where every cell requires water to function. The functions of water is it flushes as toxic. It serves as a shock absorber. It prevents dehydration and it also helps in digestion of food. Then the sources of water are natural water. It can be spring water, rain water, well water, tap and then bottled water. Then fruits that we eat in large quantity, like the watermelon have a large quantity of water. We have pineapple, we have oranges, they have water. At the end of the day, she has already said it all. And thank you for listening, students. But eventually, if you have any problem, you call the number she has given. Thank you. See you in the next class. <laughs>